Hi everybody, it's Willa from Forever Mystical. Um, today I am going to be making a new dream pillow and this is the, if you can screenshot this, this is the um, instructions and worksheet I am going to be going by. So the first thing is, is uh, we need a piece of fabric, purple or blue or something that can correspond to uh, um, vivid dreams, lucid dreams. And so this is um, the fabric that I chose. It has the moons and stars and zodiacs and a little bit of blue and purple. Just, you know, all of the cosmos are here. So this is the fabric I'm going to use. And my fabric measures 9 by 12. The first thing, you, first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your fabric in half. As such. Now, and then we're going to, we are going to stitch around it. We will not have to we will not need to stitch here as we folded it in half and we're going to leave an opening about here so we're going to stitch the rest of the way around it if you can see here in the diagram you can see where we left the opening and then we sewed the opening up after we put everything in it so you want to fold it over with your right sides together and i am going to here is my um where I folded it. So I'm going to start here and I'm quickly going to stitch all the way down. We're just going to do a simple running stitch, but you do want to keep your stitches um, pretty tight and pretty close together. And you want to keep at least a, a fourth of an inch seam allowance. Now that means that from where your needle is going, from where your thread is going to be to the edge, you want to leave about a fourth of an inch so it doesn't unravel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my first stitch and then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to go over that again. This is knotting that stitch in place and now I'm ready to continue with my little stitches and as I said you do want to keep your, your stitches kind of small. This is a little, this is a running stitch so by keeping your stitches small it will, um, Help keep all the ingredients inside of the pillow. If your stitches are too big, then things can scape out in between the stitches themselves. And you don't want your stitches to be um, really loose either. So, here's where I have started my running stitch. Now I'm going to pause this and stitch the rest of the way around. Okay, so as you can see, I have stitched all the way around. Now, the way I'm going to tie this off is I'm going to, right here on the edge, I'm going to put three stitches, one right on top of the other. One, two, and on the last one, I pull it almost all the way down, and then I will go back through. I'll leave a little bit of a hoop, and I'll go through that hoop, and then I'll pull it tight. There you go. That um, is now ready to uh, be cut loose. And here on the corners, without cutting into your stitches, you want to just give it a little clip. What this would do is this is going to allow this to turn a little bit easier. If you're uncomfortable, afraid you're going to clip your stitch, then just skip over that part. It will just not give you perfectly square corners. So now we're going to turn this inside out. Well, put it, let me phrase that. We're going to turn this right side out. As it was should have been wrong side out when we stitched it, the right side should have been folded in on itself. Put your finger in those corners and turn them the best that you can. And this is what your pillow will look like. Now when we come after we stuff it, this will be folded in flush and we will be whip stitching that closed. But for now, this is what your pillow should look like. A, a dream pillow, a, a prophetic dream pillow does not have to be big it just needs to help to induce sleep the sleep state that produces the dreams so 
this is what my pillow is going to be like. Like I said, the fabric I started with was a 9 by 6 So this pillow will be now, before I stuff it, it is now a 4.5 by 5. Allowing for my seam allowances by 5, 5.5. Five so there we go. So now the herbs that I'm going to be using in this are, um, just a second. Okay, so I wanted to grab a bowl because I want to mix the herbs in and explain what they are. And then I want to mix them all together. The first thing I'm going to add is white rice. The reason being is because it's going to fill a lot of the pillow and it's going to be my base filler. And not only that, um, rice is an absorbent agent. Therefore, it's going to help absorb negativity and also moisture. Because, you know, as you sleep, you sweat and everything. And it absorbs the moisture to help keep the herbs um, from gathering that moisture and maybe later um, mildewing. So, I'm just going to fill this, fill this up with some rice. Um... I don't know, I'm just going to eyeball it from here. I'm going to use the, the lid. I can add more to it later. Or not use at all. So I would say I use just a little bit over a cup of rice altogether, maybe a little bit more. And I'm just going to say, I like to put my hands over and say, I am adding this rice to absorb negativity and negativity away from my dreams and the messages I wish to receive. So note it be. And then I'm going to add my other ingredients. And the first thing I want to add are my, um, I'm going to add my uh, crystals and I'm going to add amethyst for psychic power and dream protection. This says add three each of the chip stones. The reason why you want only want to add three is you really don't want to dominate your pillow with chip stones. And then, because they're hard, then I'm going to add labradorite. Labradorite is for psychic powers and for dreams themselves. And then next, I'm going to add rainbow moonstone. And Moonstone is for dreaming and dream protection and to induce sleep. Then I want to add Clear Quartz for protection and it amplifies and harmonizes all energy. I know I added more than three of each, but yeah, I love my crystals. Uh, next is... Smoky Quartz for Psychic Abilities and Protection. Perfect. I add these crystals of Amethyst, Labradorite, Moonstone, Clear Quartz, and Smoky Quartz. For Psychic Powers, Dreams, and Protection. For Peaceful Sleep to Harmonize and Amplify the Energies. So mode it be. Now I'm going to add lavender. I'm going to add a spoonful of lavender for protection, psychic power, sleep, and purification. I'm going to add marigold, in this case it will be calendula, for protection, prophetic dreams, and psychic powers. I don't want any of the hard bits. So I'm going to take those out. There's nothing worse than laying your head down on a bunch of hard bits. So let me see if I can break those up a little bit. Here we go. Just like to get a little bit more of the petals in there and not the hard pieces. You just have to be careful. Okay. Then after calendula, 
I need to add Rose and Rose is for protection, prosthetic dreams, and psychic powers. Also, Rose adds a little love to everything you put it into. Next is Nettles. And Nettles is for protection and exorcism. That's just to make sure nothing else tries to come through my dreams that I do not wish to come into my dreams or try to come through my dreams. After Nettles, I am going to add Jasmine. And Jasmine is for prophetic dreams and psychic powers. Then it will be Mugwort. And Mugwort is for prophetic dreams and psychic powers. And then Lemongrass. For psychic for the psychic powers then I'm going to add thyme for psychic powers and sleep and purification the next one is rosemary for protection exorcism purification and memory okay this is Rosemary out of my own garden, so I'm going to have to break this up a little bit more. Like I said, you don't want no hard pieces. So I'll just strip the leaves off of the hard pieces. I don't want to add the hard pieces in. Be nice, right in the middle of a dream, you find out you're getting poked in the head by something. Wouldn't that be a rude awakening? Okay, I think I'm pretty well satisfied with that. And the last one is White Sage. Let's see if I have White Sage over here in my... Um, Okay, I'm going to have to pause you for a minute while I find my white sage. Okay, I did find my white sage, and white sage is for protection, cleansing, and purification. And this is another one. You're, going to, you're just going to want to break it up. White sage also helps induce a dream state. Now, a lot of the herbs that I researched on, um, I picked the ones that were, you know, strong for what I needed it for. Prosthetic dreaming, sleep, to induce sleep, you know, but also I wanted the element of protection and purification, you know, and some cleansing in there. Because I want my dreams to be meaningful and useful and... You know, not be full of things that I'm really not wanting to dream about in the first place. Okay, I think that's enough sage. And now I'm going to charge all this together. I add lavender and marigold and rose, nettle and jasmine and mugwort, lemongrass, thyme, rosemary, and white sage for protection, cleansing, and purification, and for memory and exorcism, for psychic powers and sleep, for prophetic dreaming and and for um, restful sleep. So mode it be. Now the next thing we're going to want to add to this. Let me uh, mix this up a little bit. Next thing we're going to want to add to this are some essential oils. So let me grab those. I 
and see and the ones we wish to add are um rosemary no not rosemary clary sage I'll find the clary sage clary sage don't want to add too much because you don't want to over dominate this and the clary sage is for protection and purification of mind and thoughts have any rose here I'm gonna put you on hold a minute while I find my other thing of essential oils okay I'm back I did find my rose so I want to add just a couple of drops of that Next, I want to add lavender. Just a couple of drops of that as well. There we go. Now, we want to re-enchant this. I add the essential oils of lavender, rose, and clary sage for protection, purification, of mind and thoughts. To induce a dream state for relaxation and to bring a peaceful sleep. Mode it be. So now I'm going to mix all this together. You see that rice is going to help fill that pillow as well. Now we want to scoop all of this into our dream pillow. And this can be a little bit of a challenge. So that's what you want to do is you just want to take your time and spoon by spoon by spoon put it all in there so I'm going to pause for a second while I do this okay so we were able to get all of that in there it did fit so now what we want to do is we want to tuck the opening inward till it's flush all the way across so just tuck it down in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here at the end and by going down under, I'm going to pull that up so that knot sits on the inside. Now you can do a running stitch back if you prefer, but I am just going to do a little whip stitch as such. Notice the first thing I did is cause a big knot in it. Let's see if I can get that straightened out. Okay. I did. So let me match it back up. Let's try this again. And I go through, my, through the material and I let that thread go over it. And I'm going to do that all the way down to whip stitch. It's called a whip stitch and it's to secure that opening close. If you have a sewing machine, you can do this on a sewing machine. It probably would be a lot easier and a little bit more secured if you're not used to hand sewing. I have a sewing machine, but I like to hand sew when I'm creating something that I'm going to use in the craft because it just allows me to set my intention with each stitch and also to um, sew it within. Kind of like this is along the lines of not magic. Okay, so I'm here at the end. And I'm just going to do the three stitches. So, I think this will be the last one. Bring it almost all the way down. Go through for the knot. Pull tight. And then I'm going to clip it. Move that over. And there you go. There is my little dream pillow. And it smells 
<laughs> it smells like clary sage and lavender. The rose is very mild. But there you go. So you just add this with, you just lay this with your, um, lay this on top of your regular pillow or just a little bit below it, you know, where you can breathe in that nice fragrance and allow it to relax you and take you off to dreamland. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, please leave your comments below to let me know what you think. And as always, stay forever magical and blessed be.